Today we're going to be showing you how to solve three common problems with your sprinklers. The first being, if a bush or other plant has grown taller than a sprinkler head and it's no longer watering effectively. The second problem being, if a sprinkler is exposed but it's not necessarily watering the area that you'd like it to be. And the third being, if your wife runs over a sprinkler with her car, <laughs> how to repair it. The sprinkler head does not uh, reach over the bushes in front of it, which have grown over the years. And so it is not watering this sad little fern over here. So this sprinkler head was run over by some heavy equipment when we had to have a dead tree removed. And it hasn't been working since then. And we're gonna take it out and replace it with a new one in a totally different location because even if it was working right, it is currently spraying into the raised bed area, which we don't want um, because we have that area on drip irrigation. So we're going to get this out and then we're going to dig a new trench over to the location that we want it to be. So for reference, and that's where the sprinkler head is now, and that's where it's going to go. Okay, so the original plan was to tap into the supply line here, but because these two lines are really close to each other, that would be sort of hard. So what we're going to do instead is dig out this distance here and use the pre-existing, what would you call that, T? I guess the pre-existing T where the old broken sprinkler head was and run it all the way back here and down over there where we want it. That's the plan, right? Yep. Time to go to the store and get Corona. <laughs> we probably already have it. So Luis thought it would be a great idea to use a pressure washer as a shovel because this clay that we have here is just too much to dig through. It works. Okay, let's let's see what you're doing. Oh god. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh my god. That felt kinda good. Refreshing. Well, aside from the water, did a great job digging the hole for the new sprinkler head. Look at you. Oh, you look great. Thank you. <laughs> okay.
we have here a broken sprinkler head. It may or may not have been me who ran it over. But you can see down here all this flooding and obviously it's not spraying right, but um, almost certainly the pipe that feeds the sprinkler head is broken. And what supports that is the really bad water pressure that we're getting on the other sprinklers uh, in this zone, which would usually go much farther. We're gonna dig out the turf around this broken sprinkler head. I think it's right there. Yeah, that looks pretty broken. Okay. Well, that's probably a good place for it to be broken, right? Yeah, it's all perfect. I mean, it just comes off the riser. You're rotating the riser too, no? Or is that all part yeah, of it? Yeah, but I mean, I think the okay. riser broke. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try to remove the other piece of the riser that got stuck in there with a pair of pliers. And pretty easy. We're gonna to try to reuse the sprinkler just in case we'll probably get another one at the store in case we need to replace it. That way we don't have to go back. Okay. Well, one. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I think the sprinkler had just. Oh, <laughs> it works. All right, we gotta bury it, but it is clearly working. Don't appear to have any leaks.